welcome back to my channel S7 Mohar. Hope you all are doing great. So in this video we are going to see how we can install Visual Studio Code on our Windows 10. So let's get started. First of all open your browser, Chrome, Mozilla, anything and then type visualstudio.com. So we are going to just click on this link and straight away you will be able to see the download button and here at the top. I'm going to just click on this button which is going to download the executable file for the Visual Studio code. This file is about 68 megabyte. It will take some it will take some time. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this file and I'm going to minimize my browser. Now the Visual Studio setup has no This will be the location where your Visual Studio code will be installed. So if you don't have good reason to change it, you just have the just leave it as default. Okay, let's check it. Also, some other options are available here. For example, add open code action to a window explorer file. I will check it this one also and register Visual Studio code as an editor for supported file type. So I will check all this stuff. So basically I checked all the checkboxes boxes here and then click on next then click on next which is going to start the installation of Visual Studio Code and once Visual Studio Code has been installed we are going to see this message. explore the documentation of Google the Visual Studio Code like here it's saying that Visual Studio Code is a lightweight but powerful source code editor like I would if you're a front-end developer I would recommend to use Visual Studio Code or anything you can use any like any editor according to your convenience pre-tier code format and also you know extension so yeah our visual studio code has been installed we are going just leave this message now click on the finish button which is going to launch visual studio code see your files there you can see the files project contain many files let's say 100 files and it is going to search for my keyword in all the 100 and it's going to show me the reason right so I can see here my keyword is written so it's search and I can also replace yeah I can replace the word this word to other words let's are then press on the replace See, it has been replaced. Now, Visual Studio also have a good integration with Source Control. Also, if you have Git installed, it is going to recognize that you have Git installed, and it is going to show you if you want to commit your files or you have some um, you have some uncommitted files. So, whenever you change your code in your project, it is going to track your code. See, you can see debug you also have a debug option so visual studio comes with the debugger for node.js already so you can see to customize and run debug crew you can also this is the stop button where you can stop the debug this is extension like i have shown pre-tier code there you can add any extension whatever you like for if i am using javascript so i Mostly I used Pretier extension for my JavaScript code. Here also you can see this JavaScript code snippets. How many members have installed this? And this is the option. 
if you want to dis dis uh, uh, uninstall it you can disable the this s extension by clicking on disable prettier uh, this is my favorite all time favorite prettier code formatter I install this formatter so this is my file let's take a heading hello <laughs> hello people and now I will save this file execute this file see prettier extension is very good also we can add emoji in our uh, baseball studio code you can also install these snippets in your VS Code editor. Sorry. Usage. This is profile. This is setting. You can change your theme like light. You can change your theme. Terminal, you can also open the terminal inside VS Code, VS Editor. Or you can also use Control Shift Tilt. edit in edit these all are the option you will get view command palette run where you can run terminal help you can also track visual studio code as you can see that this font size is a little bit smaller so I can just press Ctrl and then plus. What it does basically it is going to increase the font size and the size of all the widgets inside Visual Studio Code. So I can once again press Ctrl plus and you can see now this font size is bigger. Terminal size is also bigger. So in this way you can change the font size if you want to reduce the size then press Ctrl minus. When you press Ctrl minus then it is going to reduce the size of the, all the widgets and the font.